This is question number one. It says f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus px plus 6, where p is a constant. Given that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, find a for two marks for value of p and b for two marks for the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x plus 1. So if we've got x minus 1 as a factor, we can say in part a, f of 1 will be equal to 0. So all I'm going to do is use this property. So we're going to have now 0 is going to be equal to 2, lots of 1 cubed. Then we're going to have minus 1 squared plus p, lots of 1, plus 6. That's going to give me 0 is equal to 2 minus 1 plus p plus 6. And we can see from this p is going to be equal to negative 7. So that's the first part done for two marks. In part b, we need to find the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x plus 1. So we're going to write now that the f of negative 1 half will be equal to two lots of negative 1 half, which we need to cube. We're going to subtract from that negative 1 half, which we need to square. We now know that p is negative 7, so we're going to have minus 7 lots of negative 1 half, and then we're going to add to that 6. I'm going to put this straight for a calculator now and we'll work that out. So we're going to have the following. So I'm just going to put in now negative 0.5 and put this as my answer. So I'm going to have two lots of my answer cubed. Then I'll subtract from that now my answer squared. Then I'll have minus 7 lots of my answer. And then I'm going to add 6. That's going to give me 9. So we can say now that the f of negative 1 half is going to be equal to 9. Or we can save the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x plus 1 is 9.